y'all this Richard would rip one outdoors. Yeah, I guess I'm, I'm like everybody else, always looking for something better. And then a bike, you know, we've got a great riding bike here in the Magic Cycle Deer. It's got the rear suspension, and it took away a lot of uh, what we were having to buy suspension seat posts for. But, you know, as we said, our human nature causes us to go out and search for something else, something, something better, something uh, smoother, some way of improvement. And, you know, we're like a goat getting his head hung in the fence because he's reaching out trying to grab some green grass when he's got a whole pasture of green grass behind him. Yeah, we're always searching for something better. I didn't think there was any way to improve on that Magicycle Deer because it has a 33.9 seat post. And that was a size that didn't seem like you could find anywhere. But, just like that, Somebody came out with one. Yeah, we're gonna show y'all today. We have a, we have a, a 27.2 to a 33.9 seat post adapter. I've got the link for it, and I'm gonna put it down in the description. I've also got the link to this Sun Tour. This is pretty much a uh, the 27.2 size, and this. 350 millimeters long. I thought it was going to be too long, but it's not. It, it You can shove it all the way down in there if you want to. It doesn't bother the suspension. There's nothing down in there for it to hit. So yeah, there's the SPX-12 from Sun Tour. I'm going to have a link to that in the description down there as well. And this is the standard size, I would call it, because you can take this size and marry it up to any, any, uh, adapter you want this one is uh maroka 27.2 to 33.9 millimeter adapter seat post adapter so do i've heard a few reports from it from some friends that says it works better and uh we're going to go out and try it today on our lunch break and uh over this old rough ridge road that we're used to riding so we'll get took off and we'll give y'all a report. As soon as we get started, we'll let y'all know how it does. Hang with us. All right, everybody, let's get took off. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of acting like I'm doing a, doing a test ride, which I am. But I mean, I don't need to go take a test ride to, to know that it, the seat post works. Suspension seat post works on it because uh, let me let this old truck get by. He's making a lot of racket. Yeah, because it's already a proven deal. My buddy out there in uh, Surprise, Arizona, Rich Craft, done told me about it. He said, Richard, Richard, don't worry about it. Just get it and get it and go with it. He said, you'll like it. I mean, I didn't, Rich, I didn't think you could improve the best, you know. The deer, to me, the deer is the best ride on a bike that I've seen so far. Y'all, some of y'all have seen a lot more than I have. I realize that. But this deer has been the best. That's, that's why I recommend people pay a little more money. Pay the man. Pay the man for it. Because it's worth it. And now, and now I'm telling you, if you want it even smoother, get the suspension seat post <laughs> and put on it. That's the XP, uh, S SPX-12, I believe. SPX-12. Yeah, the link's all down in the description. Let's get her kicked up a little bit. I was letting that truck get on the way from me because he stinks. I don't know what he's hauling on that thing. Oh man, that is so smooth, y'all. We crossed the old railroad tracks there. And it never it never even flinched. I tell you what, I think we're gonna stop in here and tell the horses about it. Only problem is there ain't no horses to tell about it. Well, okay.
we'll catch them on another time. Some of you newcomers, I know we've been getting a lot of uh, subscriptions here late. New subscribers, that was our old place over there. Under them big live oak trees over there, that's where our little home place was. We, I lived there three years and they made us move, the NASA made us move because of the buffer zone from where they tested the rockets down here. Stennis Space Center. Yeah. And we moved over where I am today. Yeah, this is the old dead coon. This is the proving ground for e-bikes uh, comfort, and I'm and I'm telling y'all that it's it, it's a fact. Anybody that's ever rode it, they know what I'm talking about. Mickey and Joey, they've rode it. Uh, Mike Page, he's rode it in this in our truck, but he knows how rough it is. Like this little place right here. See, it's a tar and rock road. The thing never had any asphalt on it, and you say, well, it's got asphalt on it now. No, it's got. They come over here and they spread tar on that gravel and then they put uh, limestone aggregate on top of that and that's what they call the tar and rock road and that's, this is what you wind up with. But it's rough as a corn cob. I always did think the deer was smooth, I really did. In case y'all wonder where we're going, I gotta I gotta run to Walgreens and uh, check on a uh, prescription, so uh, that's where we're going. But it don't matter if it takes us a little longer to get there. We're gonna we might tell a story now and then or something like that. But yeah, I thought the deer was the smoothest thing I'd ever seen, and now we've improved on that. The reason we hadn't already done it is because I didn't think anybody made a seat post adapter for for the deer. Well, just like that, as we said in the beginning there, just like that, somebody did. And now you can get that on Amazon. You get that on Amazon. Look down there in my, my description there. I'm gonna have, a, have it highlighted there where you can see it. It and the seat post. The uh, the uh, the adapter is uh, seven dollars and somewhat six dollars six dollars and change. So if y'all got the Amazon Prime, you can get that ship free. But I don't have the Prime, so I paid a few dollars shipping for it. But I got it. Yeah, you can hear you can hear that suspension back there. But well, I can tell by listening to my uh, my Rock Brothers bag back there that that thing's it's uh, it's it's just rocking and rolling because it's hitting bumps. But I promise y'all, I'm not feeling them. Nothing. Nothing. And I will be recommending this to Mickey. He's got a deer. We cruising along about 18.6 miles per hour. That's about what I like. Yeah, the first time I rode the deer was when I was doing the review on it. I said I, I stated this, and I'll state this again: that the first the first car that I ever rode in that had what they call one of these air glide or something suspensions with the air shocks and the air suspension and all, was a lady lived up there in Nicholson, Miss Laverne. And uh, she had one of these old Lincoln Town cars. Y'all, that thing looked like it was 40 foot long. Looked like if you went to turn it down here and going up in GM Stossel Road, you'd have to put a hinge on it. Let's, let's go see what the cows are doing. We can talk to them. Yeah, that thing was long, but I'm gonna tell you, Mama borrowed it one time to go to Hattiesburg. Uh, Miss Laverne was in the, well, it was Miss Laverne's car, but Miss Laverne was in the hospital. She had open heart surgery, and Mama borrowed, 
she told mama to just bring her car cause, to come up there and uh, visit her. And uh, I'm gonna tell you, I never rode anything so smooth in all my life. That, that thing, one of them old long town cars, y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you hear all that rattling back there. Well, y'all probably can't hear it. But that's my water bottle going 90 to nothing back there because we're hitting all this rough bumps and stuff, and but we're not feeling it. Thank you, Rich. Thank you, Rich Craft, he, for uh, telling me about this. <clears throat> well, I see the landowner up yonder where the cows are, so we're just going to turn it around here. We won't go down there and bother him. I think he looks like he's trying to bring some of them across the road there, so we won't we won't interrupt that. But we'll turn around here by Miss Road goes up in and Miss Floor in them's old place. It's a beautiful day, y'all. It must be in the high 70s, I guess. Low 80s, something like that. Nice. Yep, yeah, see what I did is my seat post, instead of buying an extra one, I wanted to try it first. I knew it was gonna work, but I took the seat post, the suspension seat post out of the uh, Jack Rundy. And so I borrowed it. And I just used, used this adapter, this 33.9 adapter and just shoved it right down in there. Yeah, I, I, I will go ahead and order me another seat post because I don't like to be swapping them back and forth and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna order me another one. Yeah, you know, talk about, talking about always looking for something better. That, that's a fact. You know, we are all that way. And I'm going to tell you, I've been known, don't tell my wife this, but I've been known to spend too much money looking for something a little bit better. Of course, truth known, she's done worse than I have. Always looking for something better. The grass is greener on the other side of the fence. I said that about the goat getting his head hung in the fence because I used to own goats. And I went and bought a, I think it was my pa-in-law went to uh, the sale barn up at Hattiesburg and he bought some old uh, brush goats. We was using them to clear up some land there at the house. All that field out there, them goats cleared that field out. But we bought, we bought one and somebody had cut its horns off and left about two inch nubs on its head. And that thing, every time you turned around, there was old black goat. Mama would look out there, Mama would, Mama would say, Richard, looks like that black goat's got its head hung in the fence. And that was, that was every day. It didn't learn a lesson, you know. It didn't learn a lesson from that at all. You'd have to go out there and get get its head hung out, of, unhung from that fence. So one day, Daddy told me, said, Richard, I'm gonna tell you what we did back in the old days. So we tied a stick to their head or they can't get it through the fence. Uh, let's, we always stop by the pond. Let's check out the pond. I can tell you that without going out here, it's lower than what it was the other day. Yeah, it's really, really dry here. Yeah, really dry. Won't be but another week if we don't get some rain. All this, this little plateau out there, that'll be, that'll be exposed. I could ride the bike out in it there if I wanted to. Okay. But yeah, Daddy said, let's put a stick on that goat's head. I said, oh, Daddy, how are we going to do it? He said, so he, he cut a little piece of one by two. And I took some 
copper wire like uh, Romex, you know, like you used to wire up a house, like 12 to. I took some of that copper wire and stripped the, peel the uh, vinyl off of it. And I tied that stick to that goat's nubs. Was, and that stick was about 12 inches long. Daddy said he won't get his head hung in the fence now. And he and that was, that was a fact. It, Daddy was right, it worked. But that was a that was goofy looking uh that was a goofy looking goat walking around there with that stick on his head. But you know what? Didn't have to go out in their time and pull his head, pull him out of that fence. Cause a lot of times, whenever he got his head hung in the fence, you had to uh, you had to cut the wire. Cause you with him working against you and all that, you couldn't get him out of it. Sometimes you could usually wind up twisting his head and twisting it get it to get it out of there but ain't we all just like that that we're always looking for something better sure we are if we don't like these knobby tires we'll go and look for a better tire uh, better brakes I told y'all I got that bandit review bike in man I didn't ride that thing no time I said Hoss Jackson, we fixing to have to hunt some brakes for this thing because they put some of the worst brakes on that bike that I had ever seen. And I ordered me some off of Timu for, and I, I ordered me some off of Timu for a couple dollars and some change for enough brakes to change brakes two times on the whole bike. <laughs> and man, those things, they smooth now. They're quiet, stop good. I think they're ceramics or something like that. I don't know. But they sure do work good. So yeah, Rich Craft, I would say this is the, we have reached the peak. The ultimate in comfort in a bike seat. That is, that is the exact words that needs to be said about this configuration. I tell y'all what, we getting up here pretty close to VFW. I'm gonna just shut the camera off. Well, I'll keep it rolling, but I'll cut a lot of dead air out. We'll catch y'all back up there about Walmart. Y'all know how we how we usually do now. Now, if we see something that's interesting up here, we'll we'll cut it back, clip it back in. So y'all just hang around. We'll be right back with you. All right, y'all, we're cutting through Walmart here like we normally do. Let's go this way today. Let's go people watching today. How about that? I went in there the other day. I think I might have told this, I don't know. But I went in there the other day and I got back there where usually they keep the water hoses and stuff like that and they had it all cleared out and I said, oh, they fixing to uh, put Santa Claus in here, ain't they? And she said, if you come back here tonight, you'll see all that covered with Santa Claus stuff. That's good, man. Cheap on gas, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> People power. There you go, man. <laughs> it runs off, runs off a uh, human power. Two, uh, two horse. I like the interaction with people because everybody's always interested in the e-bikes and all and uh, 
I'm starting to see it more and more. And I'll tell you something else, I'm starting to see a few, a few more bikes around Picayune, people riding. I'm gonna tell y'all something about the deer. I don't know if any of y'all's hung around this long. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you something about the deer that I really, really love. I've heard other people say it, other reviewers, and I can, I can testify to the fact that when you get on that throttle to get through these intersections, it don't lollygag around. It gets you out. It gets you out and about through these intersections. You know, I still kind of do like I always did. Even though this is electric bike, I, I always set my, uh, set my pedal whenever I pull up to these uh, intersections. I set my pedal and be ready to pedal when the light turns green. go see there look at that hole shot y'all check it out there was nothing dangerous about I mean yeah it's dangerous being out here on a bike but but either way what I'm saying is the bike didn't cause any uh, dangerous situation there by not having the power enough to get on out of that hole you see what I'm talking about I'm gonna see how long the line he is. I might come back and lock the bike up. I can lock my bike to some of them little signs. Oh yeah, it ain't but one car. That we good. Oh, it's a lot different than it was the last time I come in here. Last time I come, it was like 110 degrees and I didn't dare sit in this sun. But if I did, I wouldn't have had enough, uh, what's that, cognizance to even tell them what I was looking for. Okay, y'all. We'll uh, we'll turn y'all off, and we'll we'll get back with y'all when we go around the other side of the uh, building here. Okay, y'all. We're back on the road again. It took forever back there. It's my Manjaro. That's that's what causes all the problems. They they're trying to charge me more money than what I've been paying. So it was in my best effort, uh, best interest to sit there and try to get it sorted out but I'm gonna come back tomorrow they wanted me to circle around or come around and lock up my bike come in and all that and I said I ain't got time it's uh 12 43 now I got a fast ride back to make back to the house for time to go back to work burned up about one third of my lunch there at that Walgreens wind Now we're going uphill here. I guess I better set my pedal like I normally do. Yeah, we're kind of on a little uphill here at Walgreens, coming out of Walgreens. All right, let's go. See, the deer just bring us right on out. I need to sand my brakes again. Got a little bit of that turkey gobble. How many of y'all deer owners hear that turkey gobble? That's what I call it. 
sound like a turkey goblin. When he gets a little embarrassing, I'll take him off and sand them, clean them with some alcohol. Might give me a different set of different set of pads to put on here. All right, time's a wasting. We got to get on back. Yes, sir. Let's uh, let's review the ride a little bit. And uh, yeah, Rich Craft, you were exactly right. The suspension seat post on the deer was like putting the. I mean, I'm not a cherry fan, but uh, you know, it's it's like putting the cherry on the ice cream sundae, right? It just tops it off. We've made we took absolute perfection and made it better so you may be you may be watching us you may not have a deer you may have a regular bike you may have a Aventon or a, or whatever electric or whatever but if you don't have a suspension seat post if you want to uh, improve your ride get you a suspension seat post but if you do have a deer, yeah, you might want to look into uh, you might want to look into getting one of these uh, adapters and put in there, and then put that 27.2 seat post in there. We got the links down there in the description, as we said. Yeah, I'll sit back there at the. I had to tell you all this. You can tell where people are from by the way they pronounce words. Local words around here are, you know, I told y'all once before that uh, the word carrier, it's a little town 10 miles up the road. Well, from Picky where I'm at here, it's five miles. But it's called carrier. And I heard a lady butcher that thing at the Walgreens there in her car. She said, I'm in Carrier. I'm like, oh my God. Well, she thinks she's in France. Carrier. I'm, I live in Carrier. Well, I can tell you by her pronunciation, she don't live around here. Yeah, they... We're always looking for something better, right? So like we said, I got uh, too many bikes now, but I'm always looking for something out, what's out there. I'm always looking at what they're gonna come out with. I'm looking for these Black Friday sales. Joey asked me the other day, we did a video last Sunday, Joey said, Richard, what you think about the prices on the bikes? And I said, well, I, I can tell you what I think about them. Well, they jacked them up. They've jacked the prices up, and now they're fixing to let them back down a little bit for you for Black Friday special, and they're going to make you think you're getting a good deal. Yeah. Who doesn't do that? The ones that I have, that I, I support, I mean, yeah, they all do it. Jack the price up, and then let it back down and make you think you're getting a, getting a good deal. We're going to ease on down the road, y'all. Get on back towards the house. Let her go there, big boy. Got them 18 wheels rolling. And yeah, we get on back towards the house. We appreciate y'all watching. Hey, hit that like and that subscribe if you will. We'll catch y'all further on down the road. Catch you on the next one. Rip one outdoors. We out.